In China, as in other countries, some people believe that dog meat is a delicacy or has medicinal qualities. Although dog meat is not seen on dinner tables as much as pigs, cows or other animals, we can find it in restaurants or on street markets like this one. Did you know that more than 10 million dogs are killed each year in China for their meat and fur? These dogs spend nearly all their lives in cages. Most of them have been caught from the streets. Others have been bred on illegal farms or separated from the family homes they grew up in. They are transported to the slaughterhouses in tiny cages and they spend many hours confined and surrounded by dirt. They won't be able to stand up or even move. Many whine in fear, asking for help that they will never receive. Once at the slaughterhouses, the dogs can spend days waiting for their turn to die, while others are killed in front of them. The Animal Equality Investigator went undercover into the slaughterhouses of Li Zhao to film these images, to show you the victims of this trade. The lives of these sensitive animals will end here among death and fear. When it is their turn, these dogs are dragged to their fate. They fight and try to resist death, but cannot. Despite repetitive blows, these animals do not die immediately. They only become unconscious, and this loss of consciousness only lasts a few seconds. The dogs are still alive when the slaughterers step on their throats and most of them recover consciousness even after being stabbed. This lethal wound causes death after several minutes. The dogs desperately try to escape while they are bleeding to death. None of them want to die or end up like this. They are all trying to fight until they take the last breath. Can you imagine the fear these defenseless animals must feel? Are you able to put yourself in their place? After being skinned and boiled at this slaughterhouse, the dog's meat will later be sold in restaurants and on street markets. Their fur will be used to make coats. Please help us end this terrible suffering by campaigning to end the meat and fur trade in China. These animals cannot defend themselves, but we can. Visit voicelessfriends.org and sign and share the petition. Join us and help stop the suffering of animals. I visited government-owned and operated slaughterhouses across Mexico, and this is what I saw. Groups of pigs hooked in their mouths, stabbed in their necks, and then left to thrash around and slowly die in their own blood. Cows tied up and defenseless, stabbed in the back of the neck over and over again. Here a worker twists the knife, digging into the animal's neck, causing excruciating pain. At this facility, a child 
was encouraged to watch and then to participate in the bloodbath. With a large blade, he stabs a pig, completely missing the animal's heart. The pig thrashes and struggles in pain before a worker violently bludgeons here to death with a metal pipe. He then moves on to bludgeon and stab other animals. Here, frightened pigs are hoisted into the air and stabbed in the throat. They squeal and squirm as they slowly bleed to death. Their bodies are then dunked into scalding tanks. I watched in horror as some of the animals thrashed around, still alive, in the near boiling hot water. All of this was done by government employees and up in front of government inspectors. Please, help me put a stop to this horrific animal abuse by calling on the Mexican government to straighten laws and oversight to ensure animals are properly stunned before they are cut open or scalded alive at slaughterhouses. Take action at mercyforanimals.org And remember, the best way to help end the needless suffering of cows, pigs and other animals is to leave them off your plate. In China, as in other countries, some people believe that dog meat is a delicacy or has medicinal qualities. Although dog meat is not seen on dinner tables as much as pigs, cows or other animals, we can find it in restaurants or on street markets like this one. Did you know that more than 10 million dogs are killed each year in China for their meat and fur? These dogs spend nearly all their lives in cages. Most of them have been caught from the streets. Others have been bred on illegal farms or separated from the family homes they grew up in. They are transported to the slaughterhouses in tiny cages and they spend many hours confined and surrounded by dirt. They won't be able to stand up or even move. Many whine in fear, asking for help that they will never receive. Once at the slaughterhouses, the dogs can spend days waiting for their turn to die, while others are killed in front of them. The Animal Equality Investigator went undercover into the slaughterhouses of Li Zhao to film these images, to show you the victims of this trade. The lives of these sensitive animals will end here, among death and fear. When it is their turn, these dogs are dragged to their fate. They fight and try to resist death, but cannot. Despite repetitive blows, these animals do not die immediately. They only become unconscious, and this loss of consciousness only lasts a few seconds. The dogs are still alive when the slaughterers step on their throats and most of them recover consciousness even after being stabbed. This lethal wound causes death after several minutes. The dogs desperately try to escape while they are bleeding to death. None of them want to die or end up like this. 
They are all trying to fight until they take the last breath. Can you imagine the fear these defenseless animals must feel? Are you able to put yourself in their place? After being skinned and boiled at this slaughterhouse, the dog's meat will later be sold in restaurants and on street markets. Their fur will be used to make coats. Please help us end this terrible suffering by campaigning to end the meat and fur trade in China. These animals cannot defend themselves, but we can. Visit voicelessfriends.org and sign and share the petition. Join us and help stop the suffering of animals. Fish and other sea animals are sensitive, intelligent creatures who have a demonstrated capacity to suffer pain. Massive trawling nets indiscriminately drag hundreds of tons of fish and other animals along the ocean floor. As they are dragged up from the ocean depths, the fish undergo excruciatingly painful decompression. The extreme changes in pressure can rupture their swim bladders and pop out their eyes. They are then tossed on board where the surviving fish either suffocate or are crushed to death. Others are still alive when they are hacked apart on these floating slaughterhouses. Untold millions of dolphins, turtles and other non-target aquatic animals are also killed by ocean trawler nets each year. Today, approximately one in five fish consumed worldwide is raised in captivity. Like factory farmed animals on land, farm raised fish are crowded by the tens of thousands in small disease and excrement ridden areas for their entire lives. When fish reach market weight, they are loaded onto tanker trucks and shipped to slaughter, where common killing methods include slow suffocation. Farmed animals are every bit as intelligent, curious, and capable of feeling pain and suffering as the dogs and cats so many of us know and love. If you are at all moved by this film, please do your part. All of the footage you are about to see was shot at factory farms across Canada. It represents standard industry practices. For pigs, cows and chickens, this is what life is like every single day. Mother pigs spend nearly their entire life packed in cages so small they can't even turn around. Their babies are castrated and have their tails chopped off. 
without any anesthesia. Pigs are routinely hit and kicked to force them to move. Those who get diseased or injured often receive no veterinary attention. They are left to suffer and slowly die. After six months packed in overcrowded pens, pigs are taken to the slaughterhouse. Animals too sick to walk are beaten, shocked and kicked to force them onto transport trucks. They are crammed tightly together and transported through extreme heat and bitter cold. Many die painful deaths from dehydration, suffocation or freezing to death. Those that make it to the slaughterhouse are killed by having a metal rod driven through their brain. Female hens are packed into small wire cages where they can barely move. Each has less space than the size of a sheet of paper to live her entire life in. For them, the misery lasts for years. On Canada's dairy farms, cows are lifted off the ground by chains around their neck kicked in the face, beaten, stabbed, dragged, and whipped. They often suffer painful sores from standing on concrete all day, as well as pus-filled wounds and painful swollen udders caused by being forced to produce too much milk. Baby male cows are taken from their mothers right after they're born and become veal. They are slammed into small wooden crates where they'll spend the rest of their lives alone and abused before being brutally killed. They are routinely beaten and chained by the neck. Their life is hell. Chickens and turkeys are perhaps the most abused animals of all. At the hatchery, baby birds are tossed around like garbage. Many die from the cruelty. Older birds often suffer from pus-filled wounds and bloody sores. Injured birds are typically killed by having their necks snapped or their heads beaten in. The rest are packed into tiny crates and shipped to the slaughterhouse. There they are hung upside down and have their throats slit. Some are scalded alive in tanks of hot water. You may not be able to end all this cruelty, but by cutting out or cutting back on animal products, you can spare dozens of animals each year from a life of brutal misery. For tips, recipes, and a free vegetarian starter guide, visit chooseveg.ca.
were in the manure pit of a battery hen shed where they um, dumped the manure and the dying and dead hens. Um, while we were filming the pile of dead hens, we noticed one hen moving and um, pulled her out of the pile of rotting hens and she was still alive. She's just died. When it is time for hatching, eggs are removed from the incubator trays. The chicks are separated from their shells in a callous and rough manner by workers who just pick up newly hatched chicks, shake them hard to get rid of traces of shells that may be sticking to their bodies and then toss them carelessly into trays. Chicks struggle to get back on their feet after they are tossed from one tray to another for sorting. They often die when their heads get stuck between trays or they fall onto the hatchery floor. One-day-old chicks are stuffed into crates and taken to ill-ventilated rearing sheds. Chickens are the most abused animals packed into filthy sheds often with thousands of other birds. Fumes from their accumulated waste burn their throats and eyes. Most birds lose their feathers and develop blistering, ulcered feet and other ailments. They are pushed to grow such unnaturally large upper bodies so fast that their legs often become crippled under their own weight. According to scientists, a mother hen will turn her eggs as many as five times in an hour and cluck to her chicks while they're still in the shell and her chicks chirp back. But on egg farms, hens spend their entire lives crammed into wire cages so small that they can't even spread a single wing. Because they can't use them, their muscles waste away and their bones deteriorate. Standing on the wire, their feet become lacerated. The ends of their sensitive beaks are cut off with a hot blade, causing them chronic pain. During the process, chicks are transported from one carton to another and eventually pass to the worker who quickly cuts off their beaks and tosses the bleeding chicks into another carton. Some birds starve to death because eating is too painful. They never even see their own babies. At the end of their miserable lives, chickens are grabbed by their frail legs and wings, often causing broken bones, and stuffed inside cages to be transported to the slaughterhouse where they are slammed upside down into metal shackles and shocked in an electrical water bath. Many escape the electric shock only to have their throats slit and be scalded to death while still conscious in the deep feathering tanks. Many chickens are transported to shops where they are tied up together upside down by their legs and then crammed into cages. The terrified birds have their throats slit with burnt knives and are often put into drums full of scalding water while they are still alive.